Trinity friends. I am Miss Jen and I am so glad that you have joined me this morning for Children's Chapel. The first thing we like to do at Children's Chapel is look at our cross. And look, it looks different today. What color is on it? We've seen white and we've seen red and now we have green. We have green for, it's called the ordinary time during Pentecost. Now, earlier you may have seen me with my tape measure and I was measuring how much my plant had grown. I was measuring the plant. Now, a lot of times we measure ourselves and see how much we've grown and see how tall we are. Kind of like how I was measuring my plant. But did you know that when we learn about God and we learn about Jesus, our hearts are growing and our souls are growing. And that's something we can't measure with a tape measure. So whenever I think of the green, when it's the ordinary time and we see green on the cross, I think of the growth of plants, but really I think of the growth that's inside, the kind that we can't measure. So we have a new color, a new season for, for our cross. Okay, and then next, after looking at our cross, we need to light our candles. We have these nice little nifty electric candles that are safe. Now the candles remind us to be peaceful when we're at chapel. They also remind us that God is with us. And God is always with us. And last week we talked about how the light reminds us to be the light in the world, to share God with others. What do y'all think about that? I like remembering that when I light the candles. Okay, let's go ahead and do our prayers for today. If you have the bulletin, you can follow along. If not, you can just repeat after me. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God be with me when I think. God be with me when I think. God be with me when I speak. God be with me when I speak. God be with me in my heart. God be with me in my heart. O oh dear God, let us never part. O oh dear God, let us never part. And now we'll do our Apostles' Creed. And you can repeat after me. We believe in God above. We believe in God above. We believe in Jesus' love. We believe in Jesus' love. We believe in the Spirit too. We believe in the Spirit too. Who comes to tell us what to do. Who comes to tell us what to do. And now we'll do our prayers of the people. I'll say the prayer, and then you are going to respond, Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders and everyone in our church. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of our world so we can live in peace. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for our teachers to help us so we can learn and be more like you. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for our families that your love will fill our hearts. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for the boys and girls and their families who are hungry, and we give thanks for those who help them. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who are sick or sad. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who have died. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray you will be with us in all we do. Jesus, hear our prayer. Now, are there any special prayer requests this morning? We continue to pray for all the doctors and the nurses. We pray for, for peace and love in our country. I pray for each of you that are here at Children's Chapel today. We ask all these things in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And now we're going to do the confession. And you can repeat after me. Dear God, dear God, 
I am sorry I have done things. I am sorry I have done things. I should not have done. I should not have done. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. For hurting friends and those I love. For hurting friends and those I love. Please help me to do better. Please help me to do better. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, God, for your love. Amen. Amen. Good job, everybody. Okay, we'll put our prayers aside. And now let's remember back to last week. Do you remember we talked about, um, we read the creation story and talked about how God made everything from the land and the sea and the animals, the mountains and the stars, and he made you and he made me. And remember after each thing he made, he said they were good, remember? Now this week, we're going to read from the book of Psalm. And Psalms is in the Old Testament. So it's at the first half of the Bible. And the book of Psalms is different than the other books of the Bible. They don't tell us stories. It's a book of poetry and of songs. And some are about being happy and some are about being sad. Some are even, sometimes when they're, people are angry, they're all different kinds of emotions. Just like there are different emotions in all the poems that we read or songs that we listen to. So we're gonna read Psalm 100. And this Psalm is about being joyful. So let's, let's look at this Psalm and we'll look at it line by line. It's a really great one. It says, shout for joy to the Lord, everyone on earth. Have you ever shouted for joy? Have been so happy that you just shouted for joy? You are so happy? And then it says, worship the Lord with gladness. Come to him with songs of joy. We do that on Sunday mornings here at Children's Chapel. We always sing songs that are joyful and being thankful to God. Then it says, Know that the Lord is God. He made us, and we belong to him. We are his people. We are the sheep belonging to his flock. Give thanks as you enter the gates of his temple. Give praise as you enter its courtyards. Give thanks to him and praise his name. The Lord is good. His faithful love continues forever. It will last for all time to come. Isn't that a neat song? I just love it. It reminds us to be joyful, that God loves when we're joyful, and he loves when we recognize all the good that's around us. Now think about things that you are thankful for. Do you ever sit and think about things you're thankful for? I challenge you, this week, before you go to bed each night, or maybe at the dinner table, I want you to think of all the things that you're thankful for. And then we can be joyful and we can thank God for all these good things and praise him, which means we're just going to sing and say thank you. And we're going to sing a song right now about praising him. And when I say him and in the song, when it says him, who am I talking about? If I say praise him, God, that's right. We're praising God. Okay, we're going to sing this song called Praise Him, Praise Him. Are you ready? And there's some hand motions. Praise Him, praise Him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Praise Him, praise Him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Good job! Now, before we leave, let's go ahead and say our prayer. You can repeat after me. 
and put your hands together. Dear God, dear God, we know that you are good. We know that you are good. Remind us to be joyful. Remind us to be joyful as we praise you. As we praise you. And thank you for all the goodness. And thank you for all the goodness in this world. In this world. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for Children's Chapel. I hope to see you again next Sunday. Remember that I love you and God loves you and I will see you very, very soon. Bye everybody.